Hey, I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Center, and welcome to the fifth element of what does it take to become a top performing salesperson. If you haven't checked out the other four videos, I really strongly suggest you do. Because in each video, I go through one of the five elements. What are you talking about? The five elements of a top performing salesperson. Your time, your mind, your network, accountability, and process. In this video, we're talking about the process. And I do want you to jump over to the saleshunter.com and get the masterclass where I do a much deeper dive in all these. Let's talk about the process right now. Now, here's something very interesting about process. And I want you to hone in on this for a very simple reason. If you don't have a process, nothing else is going to work. But just because you have a process doesn't mean everything's going to work. What did I just say? Simply this. Your sales process is critical, but if you don't have your time, if you're not allocating your time right, if you don't have your mindset right, if you don't have the network, if, you're not, if you don't have the other four elements, you can't be successful. You see, top performing salespeople have a process that is really much simpler than people realize. I see average and low, perform, low performing salespeople looking to overcomplicate their sales process. I, I seriously do. I, I see this all the time where they're looking to overcomplicate their because for some reason they're, they're, they're looking for this perfect uh, thing that's going to help them be successful. And they don't realize the perfect thing is themselves. This is why I spend the time on the time, the mind, the network, and accountability. Okay, your process. You see, first of all, you got to understand something. The process you create must be both sustainable and scalable. Let me break that down. Sustainable. Your process has to be one that you can repeat over and over and over and over again. This is what I find about top performing salespeople. They can repeat the same activity thousands of times and it just works. And they're so confident with it that they can do it in their sleep. But what does that do? It keeps them on track. A great process is also scalable because it means that I can, I can scale this to bigger and bigger and bigger opportunities. It means, okay, this is a process that works for this size of clients and I can now move it up the food chain and get it for 50% larger clients or 100% larger clients. You see, it's scalable. Or if this is what I'm doing 10 hours a week, I can scale it and I can do this 20 hours a week. You see, it ha your process has to be sustainable and scalable. And this is what great salespeople do. Average salespeople are, are very quick to, oh, wow, I'm going to put together this process or this thing. And it, it just gets bogged down. Why does it get bogged down? Because it's just too complicated. I was with a company recently, and they must have had 25, 30 steps in their sales process. And I go, really? You've got to be kidding me. I want it to only be a few steps. Top performing salespeople have a far simpler sales process. What are the elements of it? First of all, they know why they sell. You see, they know why. They know why customers buy from them. This is absolutely key. If you don't understand why your customers buy from you, I want you to stop and figure that out right now. Ask your customers why they buy from you. Second, I want you to really understand a very simple thing. And that is, who are you selling to? Who's your perfect customer? You see, I want to make sure that I know why I sell and I want to understand who I sell to. And I stay in that tight lane. Top performing salespeople. I've sat in rooms with top performing salespeople and it's amazing what they'll say no to. Somebody will be giving out leads that say, nope, don't want that, don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. Because they stay very focused on who is their perfect customer and why they sell. The other piece that they do is they have communication methods and they use all of them. They're very comfortable with all. They are not so reliant that they only use one, email or social media. No, they can use email, social media, text. They can use whatever it is, might be telephone, whatever it is. And they're very comfortable and they know expediency works. And what does that mean? The telephone. Top performing salespeople are more reliant on the telephone than any other level of salesperson. Yes, that's true. That is absolutely true. And I'll take that to the bank anytime with anybody, anytime. They're also very tight with the questions they ask 
the information, the knowledge they're looking for, what they want to share, etc. Now, why? Because remember, they know why customers buy from them, and they're dealing with a very tight ICP, ideal customer profile. See, so as a result, they know these people very, very well. So they know what questions to ask, what to look for. Next piece is they have a routine that they can just repeat, repeat, repeat. Remember how sustainable? Yeah, it's sustainable. If they have a cadence that says it's every third day, every third day it just happens. Every fifth day, every week, whatever it might be. And they just repeat, repeat, repeat. And they don't allow themselves to get discouraged because remember, they have a positive mindset and they know they're looking for the right, you know, they know they're targeting the right people. They know they're targeting a need that they can help them with. They stay absolutely focused. They don't let issues, problems, no response get in the way. They just keep going, going, going. See, what does this also help them do? It helps them move leads. And oh, by the way, they know that they're accountable for their own leads. See, because the top performing salesperson says, hey, I'll, I'll take leads from marketing any day. But they know at the end of the day, their best leads are themselves because they're going to come from referrals or, or you know, upselling of existing clients, whatever it might be, But because they know they are their own greatest marketing machine, which means also from a social media standpoint, they know that their reputation arrives before they do. So they know they have to have a good reputation out there on the internet but they don't dwell on social media. You see, they know that they can't take clicks and likes to the bank. So they have very set times every day or every week that they're out on the internet. And other than maybe having to find a piece of information or do something uh, for a specific uh, uh, customer, they're not out on social media during the workday. They're using it for selling time. See, again, what are they doing? They're very focused on their process. They're very disciplined. And to do that, they're looking at their goals every day. Every day they look, every morning I look at my goals every day. Every day I look at my goals. And I ask myself, what am I going to do to move myself closer to them? At the end of the day, I ask myself, what did I do today to help move myself closer to those goals? You've got to be focused and committed on that. Otherwise, it's just simply going to fall apart for you. You see, there are so many elements in here. And you're going to say, but Mark, you haven't talked about closing. Well, this is what's very interesting. Top performing salespeople know that if they do everything else right in the sales process, closing becomes very easy. And negotiation actually becomes minimized. That's why I say you sell first and negotiate second. Because if I sell first and get to really understand you and know you really well, guess what? You're probably less likely to negotiate because there's a high level of trust. You see, that's what really is kind of amazing. When you have a solid process and you've gone through the other four elements, in particular accountability, you create trust. And with trust comes integrity. And what does that do? That has customers wanting to do business with you. What I've gone through here is just in a very top line manner, the five elements of what it takes to be a top performing salesperson. I want you to check out the I want you to get I want you to get the masterclass. Please, please, please. Because it's designed to do one thing. I want you to be successful. My entire focus is in helping others see and achieve what they didn't think was possible. And if you think for a moment that you can't see and achieve being a top performer, top 1%, you're the person I want to talk to because I want to get you there. And I want you to take advantage of the content I put out there and the masterclass. And I want you to get very serious. Because right now is when you need to get serious because you have time to make this year a very successful year if you're willing to get focused now. I'm Mark Hunter of the Sales Center. Five elements, the roadmap to become a top 1% salesperson, time, mind, network, accountability, and process. I'm Mark Hunter, great selling.